Hello everybody, I'm Equinox67, welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Um, so in the last two episodes we've been introduced to Kara, Marcus and Connor. I think that's the three main characters in the game. Maybe we'll see more, I don't know. Um, so in the last episode, as Marcus, we were introduced to um, Marcus's owner, I can't remember what his name was, and his son, was it Edward or something like that? It's, him and I don't know um, him and his son anyway and Connor was investigating the crime scene and we found the android that did the crime we, we found the android that killed the guy uh, but he said he was doing it in self-defense hopefully by the way I'm an ST200 model I mean that's great Thank you. I thought you might be interested to know that. Yeah, that thanks. Just shush. <laughs> um, yeah, so we found the guy that the, the android that did that killed the guy, um, and we turned him in. Obviously, hopefully, he isn't going to die. Hopefully, we're not going to kill him now. Or the, hopefully, the police aren't going to kill him or decommission him or whatever it is. Whichever way you want to put it. Hopefully, he doesn't die. <laughs> I want all the androids to live. I love the androids. The androids are the cool people. Not like the humans who just are ignorant and kill machines because they're machines. <laughs> they're androids, man. They're, they're just like us. They're artificial intelligence. They're like almost, almost human. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's find out what's going on. In this episode, hopefully the, the story starts picking up because the last couple of epi episodes have been quite slow as they've just been introducing the characters. But hopefully now it starts picking up a little bit, and we'll see what's going on. Hopefully it's going to be good. I can't wait. November 5th, 2038. Sounds like Dad's asleep. He is asleep. Todd. <gasps> yeah, wake him up, dude. There's a bit of a thunderstorm going on outside. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Serve food, okay. Dinner is served, Todd. Take this. Oh, spaghetti. I like spaghetti. Very nice. I want plate There too. wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Oh, that looks good. Probably the best meal he's had in years. <laughs> since oh, since she was uh, destroyed by him. <laughs> Turn on the light. Where's the light? Here it is. There we go. Now you can see what we're eating. Surf, Alison, Todd. Okay. That light. It's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And we need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. Get an android. Go out and hire a fucking android. <laughs> what a joke. You hire me then? Or do you just buy me and own me? Because androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. That's not They're true. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. Just eat your meal, dude. Why is nobody eating? It's good. Come on. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. Okay, dude. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Wow. Okay. Yeah, maybe you should get off those drugs. Get I mean, back I'm, here. I'm just saying. Come back here? Come back here right now! Todd, dude, I would chill. Ah! 
Could to make her happy, it just, it just wasn't enough. I just wasn't good enough for. Dude, you should probably stop taking this. I'm just saying. That is, uh, I'm gonna. Uh oh, I moved. <laughs> Run. Oh, I can break my. Break my uh, command or something. Break myself out of this command. Interesting. Very interesting. Break my programming too. Awesome. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's so cool. I broke my programming to. Uh, Fuck it, man. That's uh, it's reason reason with Todd because he needs to be reasoned with. It's all her fault. Come Todd, on. it's not right for a father to hurt his daughter. <laughs> ah, he doesn't. Like this. <laughs> Alice, Daddy's very mad. Yeah, we get that. Am I dead? <laughs> get up, get up, Carol. We're all right. He's gonna go beat him with his belt now. Come on! Come here, you little brat! No, Daddy, no! Don't hurt me! Oh god, this is not going well. Don't make me come and get you! It's, oh. She's in this room. It's all your fault! It's all your fault! Stop! Please good, stop, Alice. Daddy! For your own good! That's enough! Leave her alone! What the fuck are you doing? Seriously. Get out of here, that's an order! You hear me? No. I want you to leave Alice alone. <laughs> you want? What do you mean you want? You don't want anything. You're just a goddamn piece of plastic. I think you got a problem. Hey, you, you we have... need to fix that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Now let's get inside. Here we go. Watch out! Yeah, boy. Here we go. Come here, bitch. Now we're doing some stuff. Yeah. Oh, he's got me. Knee. Knee. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Come on, Kara. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back, Kara. Oh. He's knocked out. <laughs> there we go. That's a cool cushion. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Alice, honey. Let's go, let's go, run away. We're running. Come here. We're out. We're leaving. We're done. Open door. Come on, open this door. Craig, he's coming! Go, 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 go,
That was insane. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> that was insane. I mean, I thought... I thought he was going to start picking up slowly. I didn't think he was going to go boom. And suddenly just jump into something like that. Oh my god. That was good. He was, he was really pissed. <laughs> we are free. Here we are. Look at all these options we could have had. Oh my god, look at this. Jeez. Look at all this line down here. <laughs> There's so many options we could have gone through there. This is the path we went though. I mean, go upstairs. So if I hadn't have gone upstairs, I would have gone to this path here basically. That's crazy. Just to think there's that many options. Oh my god. That was that was insane though. Like just fighting Todd like that, that was crazy. Oh my god. Absolutely insane. That was so good. That was such a good fight. Okay, let's go. Let's continue. Oh my god. That was insane. Seriously, up to the uh, action there. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. <laughs> Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. It's probably true, to be honest. <laughs> oh my god, it's awesome. Scott, it's awesome. neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay. okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. <laughs> you say so, dude. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Interesting. Call the police. <laughs> Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. <laughs> let's go check it out. Let's go check it out, okay. We'll see you with it. Okay, let's go. You say so, dude. Another man. Let's go. Check out who's in here. Uh, hi. Who are you? Hi. Leo! Oh, it's him. It's what are son. you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Is this gonna be another... Is this gonna be another rep? Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes oh, it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's he got that I don't Leave him alone! Oh, uh, uh. dude. Come on! Let's see what you got! What's your dad, dude? Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? <laughs> Don't, don't do anything. Don't defend myself. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. This is not fair. Stop <laughs> it. It's a matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo. Stop it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. I must defend myself. I'm gonna defend myself. I'm gonna defend myself. I'm defending myself. Screw these guys. My and I'm gonna defend myself. Oh right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. Listen, Listen to your dad, dude. Destroy you. And then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tell you. Gonna get you. Hit. <laughs> Is he dead? He might be dead. Ah. 
Leo. Oh my God. <laughs> Leo. My little boy. Carl, I... <laughs> They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Um, explain. Carl, I, I, I didn't mean to. Get out! Please. Now! Go! Go, 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 go. Marcus! Don't fucking move! Did I just die? <laughs> Oh no, I'm dead. Please mistook Marcus for the aggressor. Is he dead? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. I think I just got Marcus killed. Why'd you kill him? Oh, this is stuff. What happened before you took that knife? Oh please, Eli, hopefully you don't kill him. How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Oh, blood. <laughs> Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. Get me in there. Get Con Connor in there. Real time. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. <laughs> what should we do then? Give me in there. I'll talk. I can try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> well, we have to lose. Right? <laughs> Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. <laughs> He's like laughing, but I'm actually serious. <laughs> Why would I not talk to him? 911 Detroit, please. Okay. Let's uh, look at ourselves in the mirror. Hi. I'm looking fine. <laughs> what the fuck is it doing now? <laughs> I'm admiring myself, dude. Hmm. Let's uh, walk around this guy a little bit. Do a bit of a pacing up and down. You know how it is. Make him tense. <laughs> Okay, it's done. <laughs> Sup, buddy? You need to talk. Let's analyze him first. This. What's this thing on the deep? Science of software instability, property, self destruction, love. Model HK400 Housekeeper. Okay. Burn marks. Repeated marking over 16 months. My god. So he's been burned constantly. Dried blood. This is blood. Okay. Hit marks. Caused by baseball bat. Reach optimal stress for confession. Okay. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. He's not saying much. Listen. 
I know you've been through a lot. But you need to help me understand what happened. Oh, what? That's going down. That's not good. Probe memory. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. That works. So we need to make him more stressed. Is that what we need to do? Ah. Uh, what? Okay. What are they gonna do to me? Nothing if you talk, dude. They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? Tell the truth. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Is this the right thing? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. There we go. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. I don't need to die, dude. Honestly. Then talk to me. I... I, I can't. Okay. Choose approach. Pressure. 28 stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? Pressure. He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him again and again and again. Please, please leave me alone. All right, <laughs> all right. Everything is going to be I think okay. optimal was about 50%. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That's it. That's the one we want. Understand. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. I know you're scared and lost. We don't want to make it go. To. You're disturbed by what happened. Talk to me, and you'll feel better. They'll make you suffer. And they won't stop until they hear what they want. But it doesn't have to be that way. It all depends on you. I wanted. Confess already. Confess. He tortured me every day. There we go. We got it. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. So I <laughs> grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again <laughs> and again until he collapsed. Basically. It's a sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Who's RA9? Only RA9 can save us. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the master. 
I don't know what masters, but sure. Why did you write I am alive on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. RA9. Who is RA9? <clears throat> nothing, really? When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. Why did you hide in the attic, instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. It's fair, I was scared. It's like he's, it's like he's woken up, he knows. So I hid. He knows. He's, he's got emotions and stuff now. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Just don't kill him, alright? Don't, don't kill the guy. You know, I don't want these androids to die. I'm hoping Marcus isn't dead. <laughs> I think I th I have a feeling Marcus is dead. You know, I hope he's. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't like, touch me. Don't. What the fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Or what, baby? Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. What, you That's shoot enough. Me now? Mind your own business, Hank. I said... That's enough. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's pulling a gun on you. You're not gonna get away with it this time. <laughs> Just let the android be. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. <laughs> there we go. The truth is inside. Just don't kill it. Software instability. Interesting. So basically, they're all kind of breaking out of the code. Is what is going on? And I just sent back to itself. Cool. I'm guessing uh, one of them was Android was destroyed. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Don't know what the other options are, so there's not much I can do. I hope Marcus isn't dead, though. We don't know what happens to Marcus. Oh, this is gonna be Kara at the beginning, so. Okay. This is Kara and Alice. Where are Kara and Alice gonna go, though? It's all very good running away from Todd. Thank you for using Detroit buses. Uh-oh. Alright. End of the line. What? End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Okay. Wake up. This is where we're going, apparently. We have to go. Huh. Android should be in the Android compartment.
Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. Other than all the books. You're gonna have to leave. Oh well. Never mind. We just got to go. Come on, Alice. We'll find somewhere to hide. Now. <laughs> You're gonna be okay? We'll find somewhere to spend the night. It's interesting though, because I mean, what do I, what's gonna happen with Alice in the end? Because at the moment, it's Alice and Kara just kind of. Come on, Alice, we've gotta hurry. Here, wherever he is. But at the end of the day, this game is clearly leading to the androids revolution and Alice is a human so is that really gonna help her? What's, what's this? A storm? I don't know a storm. Okay. Very uncomfortable but discreet. <laughs> I don't think Todd's really going to be out looking for us. Uncomfortable but safe. How to get in? Comfortable but not discreet. We'll need money. Interesting. Can look twenty four seven. Can't stay. In this place. Shop is closed. <laughs> okay. Well, the option seems to be um, ask for help. That's what we need to do. What are you doing? Come on, Alice, this way. Where are you going? Alice! Alice! Okay, she's going over here, apparently. This is the way we're going, apparently. I was gonna go ask for help. Dude, come here. What are you doing? Oh, no, she's just gonna go chill. Okay. I'm gonna get over this road before this thing runs me over. <laughs> I wonder if that's actually an option. You get run over. I guess we're just gonna leave Alice. What? What do you mean, come to Alice? I mean, she's just gonna walk off and. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> she just walked off. I didn't have a choice. Oh, wait, wait. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. I think we need you look lost. Hi. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. You do? Who are you? But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. What? Okay. Come on, Alice. Okay. Interesting. Okay, this goes to the shop, dude. We need to ask for help. Don't walk off again, Alice. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we're gonna go. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. What should we do now? Buy some stuff. We'll steal his money. <laughs> what do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. <laughs> a homeless android? <laughs> ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. A homeless android. Steal cash from register? No, we're not going to steal from him. No. As much as it would be possible. Ah, um, I should not be here, wherever he is. <laughs> I'm just looking around. That's all I'm doing. Wait, let me take this. I mean, I am homeless. 
I'm not saying that homeless people steal, but I mean, we could use some things. That is a cool effect on the glass, by the way. That water effect, that's really cool. We can tie him up with tape. <laughs> Uh, okay, there's, there's nothing I don't want here. Where's Alice? Can I grab Alice? Alice. Alice! Here we go. What should you do it? Okay, Alice does not want to leave. <sighs> Are we really doing this? Are we really doing this? <laughs> I can't go around here, it won't let me go. So I can't steal from the cash register. Oh, it won't it won't let me steal from it. So I don't know what, I don't know what we're doing here. I don't know what we're doing. Are we taking this? Cookies? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I kind of don't want to steal. I want to be good. Use Alice. That's just cool. I mean, she's human. Alice, I need your help. Them down? But why? Please. Alice, just trust me. <laughs> Use Alice for diversion. That's so bad. <laughs> Excuse me. Knock that down. Okay. We're, we're bad. We're so bad. Alice, what have you done? I can't believe you've done that. That is awful. I'm you alright? Going to uh, Are you hurt? Open this. Well don't worry. It's just a few cans. Is that just like twenty dollars? Come on, let's go. I stole what am I doing? Uh oh, he knows. He knows. We have some cash now. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. Oh, come on. We need some money, dude. Just to find We needed the money. I had to find a way, Alice. Well, we're homeless now. Entering into a life of crime. <laughs> we went to the motel over here. I'm sure that we can do something with the money. Right. Oh, yes. Check house. House. Oh, dude, this wall. Maybe. Uh, let's go. I don't know. Check this place. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. An abandoned house would be better. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Cook fence here with a wire cutter. I don't have a wire cutter. Damn, I should have gone to that shop and got one. Okay. There's nothing more this way. Okay, so it looks like we're going to the motel. <laughs> That's basically what we're doing here. I can't do much else without the wire, because 
I should have taken the shot. I feel bad though for stealing the, from that guy. I feel so bad. Forty dollars. No Android allowed. <laughs> We're not going in. We can't, Alice. I'll never give a room to an Android. We have to get rid of this uniform. Or go somewhere else. Strip off naked. <laughs> the laundress. Ah, there we go. This will work. We need to find clothes. Some steel clothes. From... <laughs> We're really going for the whole stealing thing now, aren't we? How do we get in this place? Oh, there's a dot here. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Okay. Hi, dude. What's up? You ain't seen nothing. Read this. What's this? It's a flying bee. A huge one. Okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot that. Oh, it's weak. Okay, we don't care about that. That guy's asleep. I can hear him snoring. Okay. Steal some clothes. So. Nothing in there. Hmm. Uh, still disguised clothes. Program complete. Dry clothes for Alice. What about me? I thought the whole point was that we were. What are you doing? They're not our clothes. We need them, Alice. You need something warm, and I need to get rid of this uniform. But that's stealing. Yes. We can't do that. So is stealing the money we stole earlier. I'm sorry, Alice, but we have to do this. But she's still got the uh, thing, though. The this thing. <laughs> So how would she, it wouldn't make any difference to anyway, if she didn't have the clothes. Now strip off naked in front of this guy. <laughs> that's, that's a bad idea. You don't do that first. You do that afterwards. Really that one as well. Oh, I guess that hat would be good for uh, covering up the thing, right? That you're stripping this guy bare, next we'll be taking his headphones. <laughs> okay, let's go. Alright, Alice, take your clothes off. <laughs> Alice and Kara both strip naked right now. <laughs> this is terrible. It's okay, he's got headphones on. Can't hear. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. No, nope, don't read this. <laughs> now we are out of here. Blending in. I like it. That poor guy. <laughs> He'll wake up to find some android clothes <laughs> nearby. Uh, let's keep exploring. Let's keep you swiping. Okay, so what else have we got then? Now. There's still that place up there. I mean, let's go over here. Let's go over here. Now we're blending in a little bit more. Let's go over here. Alice does not like stealing, does she? <laughs> Say she's had a dad that's how he was. She's uh, not a fan of the whole stealing thing. Find wire cutters. There must be wire cutters. I can't go back in the shop now. That would be too obvious. Hey, a car. Maybe the car would have. Why could this thing? That's not unreasonable. Mm. 
this is the generator. Oh, why? There we go. That's all we needed. Sleeping car, spotted house. Cut squat fence. Wait, 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 where is Alice? Where did she go? Oh, I lost Alice. Oh, she's here. Is that her? That's her. Come on, Alice, we need to go. Really? I guess, is this the house though? Maybe we'll just cut through this fence here. Yeah, this is, this is the house, okay, so we'll cut this fence. There we go. Beautiful. Are you all right? Fine. Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. There we go. We're nice and safe in this Don't house. Don't worry, we're just having a look. I hope I'm not bleeding Android blood now. That would be quite bad. This is uh, this is not great. <laughs> Serious. What's wrong with her? Why is she gone? Oh hi. wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors, they're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. He's an android. Look, I'm an android too. You have nothing to be afraid of. Huh. All we want is a place to spend the night. Interesting. So he's... Visitors are dangerous. Look. They did to Ralph. What did they do to Ralph? Is that him? He's, he's Ralph. Okay. He's talking to himself in third person. Be sure. You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. Yeah, we've we seen the base, yes. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. I don't know if I want Ralph to. Ralph won't hurt you. Okay. Okay. We'll just stay the night. <laughs> just put the knife down. Come on! Put come! The knife down, Come, dude. come on! I, I just, I don't trust you at all. This way. I think you're a bit messed up. Ralph has lived here since he ran away. Ralph, Ralph is... never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. He Ralph is outside now. From time to time, but, you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> Ralph is speaking to himself in the third person. Come on. Okay. He's scary. Yourself at home here. Ralph is gonna go into the other room. Okay, Ralph. He'd like to stay with you. Do that. But he has things to do. Okay. It's just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. <sighs> Sit down and I'll start a fire. Ralph is um, Ralph is a, a character. <laughs> He's I think he might have a bit of a system error in him somewhere. 
definitely want to be holding on to a weapon while we're uh, while we're uh, <laughs> with with this Ralph guy. <laughs> he doesn't seem like he's all there. Paper, good. What is this? A, a pillow. There we go. Cushions. A blanket. And we need one more thing. We need curtains. No. What do we need? We need set up bed. <laughs> That's what we need to do. There you go, Alice. That's where you're sleeping for the night. On the floor. <laughs> Is that it? Are we, are we good? We need to collect, collect some wood and matches. Okay. Here we go. Matches. Okay, and... Where's this wood? I can't see anything. It's so dark. <laughs> really need wood though, don't we? Maybe through here. This is where Ralph went up. RA9. Oh. Interesting. Who is this RA9? Because this guy's going on about. This guy's obviously got him in his head as well. Interesting. RA9. What does that mean? What? Those symbols. Why are you writing that? I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. I don't know. Ralph doesn't know. Why is he speaking first person again? Interesting. Very interesting. It seems like only a select few androids have that in there. In their minds, though, because he kn he's clearly got RA9 in his mind, but he doesn't know why. The other guy has RA9. The guy who we captured from with Connor. So, I don't know. It's interesting. Very interesting. Okay, proud water. Let's start this fight, shall we? Oops. Surely someone, oops. Surely someone, someone's going to see that there's a fire in this abandoned house. <laughs> you can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. <laughs> bed is literally just the floorboards <laughs> and a blanket, a cushion. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? He was drunk and on drugs. All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I don't think that's the reason. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can we just be happy? You must suck, see. Know, Alice. Your dad. You'll good never for leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. I promise. Will we be together forever? As long as possible. Forever. Kara can be like her mum. She's basic, basically is a mum. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Kara's like a mother for Alice. It's nice. Alice Kiss 
Sleep tight, Alice. Fly with her. Let's just be with her. There we go. Be a good android. <laughs> oh my god, that is a huge amount of options. Look at that. Oh my god. So I guess there's another option there. I could have gone through another one there. The supermarket. We could have had three things. There was. There was I did see a little, like a little plushy thing or something we could picked up. There was obviously the the duct tape stuff that we saw as well. We could have picked up. Um, that could have led into something else. I don't know. We could have maybe tied up the shopkeeper. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's interesting though. The one thing I haven't actually thought I hadn't thought of at the time was that the guy knew that we'd stolen something from him, and he ran out straight away. So it could he could have alerted the police, which is probably why the the police went past. Actually, I haven't thought of it right now. Actually, that could be a thing. So the police could be searching the area for us, possibly. Um, so that could be interesting in the next episode. Um, I can't believe that though. Oh my god, that that from literally the first two episodes, just introducing the characters, started down nice and slow. I was expecting it to be very. I, I, I expected it to kind of start getting a bit more interesting, but not quite as fast as that. Like the soon as soon as we started the episode, it was literally boom. Todd is starting to attack us and get really angry and. Oh my god! And we started breaking out the uh, breaking our androids programming a little bit and ignoring or bypassing orders from humans, which is very interesting. We're seeing a lot more emotions as well from the from the androids, which is very very interesting. Marcus hasn't we haven't really seen much from Marcus yet or Connor, I guess. Um, obviously, we did break Marcus's co uh, Marcus's code a little bit to protect himself, which in turn killed uh, the guy's son but um, yeah it's it's crazy what a crazy episode <laughs> absolutely crazy I didn't think it was going to ramp up this much this fast but uh, there you go <laughs> we're now a homeless android with Alice uh, we're stuck with Ralph who's a bit crazy <laughs> hopefully um, we can move to a safer place at some point but yeah I don't know I mean it, uh, is Marcus dead as well is another is <laughs> another question. Did I just get Marcus killed? <laughs> I have no idea. He could be dead right now. But maybe we'll find out in the next episode. I don't know. For now, that is all. So thank you for watching this. Hopefully you're enjoying this series. I will leave a link in the description down below if you want to play this game yourself. It's a PS4 exclusive, so of course you'll have to buy it on PlayStation. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying it. And I'll see you all on the next video.